So let's talk about two different ways that you can change the trajectory of your chip shots. Now I'm going to make sure that these are the most simple possible ways that you can use, and there's only two. There's changing the ball position, and there's changing the club face. So the most simple way to change that trajectory would be to place the golf ball in different areas of your stance. If you wanna go high, we place the ball forward in the stance. If you want it to go a medium trajectory, we put it in the middle. And if we want it to go lower, we would put it on the back foot. So let's start off with those three. I'm gonna hit three shots for you here. One's going to be a medium shot, one's going to be high, and one's going to be low. So let's, let's get into that. So we're going to set up to the golf ball. I've got my 60 degree wedge here. I'm going to place my feet just in between this stick, or the stick's going to be in between my feet. Shaft is fairly neutral. Everything is neutral. Club face is dead, dead neutral there. And I'm just going to attempt to hit a medium trajectory shot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a higher trajectory shot. And all I'm going to change here is the ball position. So instead of playing it in the middle of my stance, I'm going to bring it forward. So I'm going to move myself. And now you can see that my ball position is forward in my stance. And my shaft might even be leaning back ever so slightly. And that's going to give me just a little bit more loft uh, to the golf club. So here we go, we're going to hit that shot. We're gonna see how high it comes out compared to the medium trajectory shot. So now we're going to hit a slightly lower shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that ball ever so slightly back in the stance. We leave our hands where they typically would be which would lean that golf shaft ever so slightly and would actually deal off the golf club a little bit. So now my 60 degree, when I'm setting up to the ball, maybe it's 55 degrees, something like that. So we place that ball back ever so slightly, have that club leaning forward ever so slightly and go ahead and hit our, our low shot. So once we've learned how to play those three different shots with three different ball positions, what we're going to do is to just increase that height or to lower that ball even further, is we're going to manipulate the club face. So now what we wanna do is in order to play a medium shot that goes just a fraction higher than normal, is we're going to play that ball in the middle of our stance, but we're going to open that club face ever so slightly. Okay, so we're going to set up to the golf ball ball in the middle, and you can see here that I'm just going to open my club face ever so slightly, and that's just going to add three or four degrees of loft. That will help me get it up in the air just a little bit more, or it could even be a shot where you're just trying to get a little bit more softness when the ball hits the green. So let's give this shot a go. Ball position in the middle, face ever so slightly open. Go ahead and hit the shot. So now that we've played a medium trajectory shot with just a little bit more loft and a little bit more softness, we're going to play a high shot off the front foot, but open that club face even more. So we're going to take our setup as we were with our stock shots, place that ball forward in our stance, and I want you to open that club up. Now, depending on how high you wanna hit this shot, you can open that club up a lot. You can open it up just a little bit. It all depends on how far that, that pin is on the front of the green, or it could just be that you wanna land a nice soft high shot to a back flag. So let's go ahead and hit that golf shot, ball position forward, club face open. I'm just going to kind of half open mine. If this was square and that was laying straight open, I'm gonna be about halfway between. I'm gonna take my normal grip, hit my normal golf shot. I'm not trying to do anything special with my hands not trying to release the golf club. I'm literally just changing ball position and club face position. So let's go ahead and hit this golf shot, ball position forward, normal everything, just an open club face. And finally, 
we're going to have a low shot and that's even lower than when we put that ball back. And here's what I want you to do. Instead of opening that club face for more height, we're going to actually close the face. Now, when we close the club face, we actually take away loft. If we were to close this club face basically fully, we're not gonna have any loft. So this could be a nice shot for when we're on an upslope and you want to keep that ball low, but that upslope's pushing that ball up. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up to this golf ball with our stance, uh, with that ball position back in the stance, but we're also going to just close that face. Now you may have to aim ever so slightly right. So that's what I might do here. I'm just going to move this stick as it will be in my way. And we're going to do, do the same thing. So we're gonna go ball back, face closed, a little bit more of a draw feel with our puff. So here we go. I've got a still, still got a 60 degree wedge and you can see how low this ball can still come out. So there you have it. There's two simple ways that we can change that trajectory when we are around the greens. We've got a ball position change with a normal or square club face. And then we also have a ball position change plus either opening or closing that club face. That's a sure way to have a lot more tools in that toolbox around the greens.